What's up? We all live. How you doing, sis? What's up, Tim? This your girl T. What's good? What's good? Brother Sister Podcast from PA to North Carolina. Are you ready to work this out? Yeah, I'm ready to work it out. Did you uh okay? Is that that's a good uh what's it called? I got it side by side. Is that good enough for you right there? Yep, that's fine. Okay. Let me um hold on one second. So uh, t- tell everybody where you're from, what you do. Earl, Pennsylvania, born and raised. And now I'm down here in North Carolina, Salisbury. Salisbury, North Carolina. What do you do down here? I work for the VA hospital as a uh, MSA, checking okay, in patients. That's, that's good. You enjoy the job? Yep. Been on it since okay. Uh, December. Okay, that's good. Well, hey, my name is uh, Tim Buchanan. I go by Andre Agnostic. I'm uh, in uh, Sharon, Pennsylvania right now at the moment. I'm uh, trying to be a content creator. I'm also uh, work with the uh, uh, people who have uh, mental disabilities, group home, like that right now at the moment. I enjoy my job and everything is good. So me and my sister decided to put a podcast together where we're going to be we're going to be asking uh, like different questions. Today's uh, topic is going to be uh, the 90 day rule dating dating market in uh, the age of like 2023 and stuff like that. So I think how we're going to do this is we're going to take, uh, I'll let Tammy go first. We're probably going to take about a, uh, give her about three minutes to explain what she want to talk about and explain what she thinks about the 90 day rule. And then when we, so right now, Tammy, can you see that live in the corner right there? That red, that red box? It sure can. Okay. So, uh, what does that say? We'll start you at about two minutes and let you go till about two or three and you can go ahead and start your question now. All right. So basically how we want to do this is we give you guys the topics. I'm going to give my version as a female to me sister. And then, you know, when I'm done talking about how I'm going to do, maybe let's do three questions each. And then I'll finish my question, throw it back to Timmy, see how he responds, how he thinks as a man. But basically just putting out here what the 90 day rule is. So for me, the first question is the night. Well, not even a question, just a statement. I actually believe in the 90 day rule as a female. Um, You know, when it started off, you know, when I first started having relations, let's just be real, um, I didn't want to get pregnant. My mom was like sending me to school, like, don't come home and have no babies. So, you know, I would only be with my boyfriends maybe once a month. And they would hate that. Like, oh my gosh, you know, we be together. I can't touch you, I can't do anything. But I was always scared about coming home pregnant with kids and, you know, I didn't know ovulation, all that. When you're when you're young in your 20s, you don't know anything about when you're ovulating. So I just knew the week before my, my monthly, the week after, we ain't having no sex. So that's what it was. So that's how my 90 day rule started. So Tim, do you believe in the 90 day rule? Well, it just depends on what year you're talking about. If you're, if you're thinking about right now as a daddy market in 2023, that that's not going to really fly to me myself because uh the problem is, is that the, the dating market, dating is probably, it's not like it used to be um, in probably like 1980s or 90s. It might have worked better because, uh, you know, you didn't have all the uh, the technology. Usually, if you was dating somebody, they would probably uh, be in your vicinity. It might be from your church, maybe from a couple of your uh, people that your family knew, brothers, sisters, maybe like in a maybe five mile radius. But right now, um, ever since the, uh, the dating marketplace, it's a uh, wide open right now. You have different, um, what's it called? You have different uh, dating apps. You have uh, plenty of fish. You got Tinder, and you have Instagram and Facebook. So now the dating market is, especially for women, they have such a wide variety of different people that they can see. And uh, right now in 2023, it's mostly hookup culture. You know, I'm not saying that there's not good women out there. People are not uh, going to relationships, but I'm saying right now, it's real hard because nobody's. Uh, you don't really have time. If you try to tell a guy to wait 90 days today or even around the early, like I said, about 2000, maybe 15, whatever, um, he's probably not going to do that because it depends on how many options he has. You know, if he's just maybe looking for if he's like, a, you know, kind of like a Tyrone type dude to Chad and he has many options, he's not he doesn't have to wait that long. So even though the woman might say, well, I'm going to make him wait if he has three or four other girls, uh, he might like you or whatever like that. But if he's if he's moving through women real fast, he, he's not going to wait that long. But that's just that's just on my opinion and the dating market of men today. So 
Well, let's piggyback. Let's let's broad, let's broaden up. We talking about relationships, not situationships. I'm talking about a dude or a female that you with, you know, that you've been with for a long time. But when you first courted her, or I'm in a relationship, because I'm like, you know, I do that right now. The last dude I talked to actually told me he was on a 180 day rate. He's like, I don't want the, I don't want women for me uh, trying to check me because I got money and I got a career. So he was like, I need to make sure for 180 days before I put out my loving tour. I was like, yo, that actually turned me on. I'm like, yo, my mine's only 90 days. So you got to remember, we talking about relationships, not hookups, one night stands. We're not talking about situationship. We talking about somebody that you and your girl said, hey, it's just me and you. You ain't got Jane, Sally, Keisha on the side. You picked this girl, and you're going to wait for her. Now, my thing is, I'm making sure I'm not dating a representative. If you could wait nine days for your you are CEO, you got an uh, employee out here, they got a nine-day evaluation. You got to make sure if they putting out the work or they just went ahead and said a good thing at the job, and when they get there, they, they don't have no type of skills to hold the company up. So why not have yourself like that? So my, for me, I do have a 90-day rule in 2023. And the last couple of guys, I respected it. Now, what they did outside out of mine, I don't know. But they said they really respected the fact because one, well, two, another reason why I'm not only dating. I don't want to make sure I'm not dating a representative, the guy that's out here playing the game. It's going to make me sure if you're going to be consistent in your word, what you're saying, what you're doing, how you move. And also spiritually, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to realize every person you lay with, that's soul ties, that's soul connection. So for me, I'm going to do the nine day rule in 2023. And most women, if you really want a real pure woman, it's almost like doing uh, what you call it back in the day, a renewed virgin. She's pure. She's yours. Ain't nobody tapping with it. What you say, bro? Well, I'm, I was saying well, before, well, okay, let's just say you meet somebody, okay? If you're dating them, how are you going to, you know, it's going to take a long time. Like you said, I'm going to vet this guy. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We're saying right now, it just depends on what age you are. I mean, if you're, we'll just say, the age of like 30, okay, 30, 35. To That's real talk. I'm 43. I mean, 45. Yeah, well, I'm, saying, I'm real saying usually when it's talking about relationships, people want to be in long-term relationships, maybe get married, whatever. There's going to, ever since like 2012, maybe before then, you might meet a guy, maybe he'll do that. I'm saying guys are going to lie. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're going to lie. Go say, okay, uh, I'm this, I'm that. And they may tell you they're going to wait. I mean, that's just what they're going to do. You know, they're, they're more into what they may be i'm not saying he doesn't maybe want to be with you long term but if he's telling you he's waiting 180 days he a damn lie unless he is just a straight simp or he's just a geek or something because if he if he's a man of stature if he's working good if he's doing that if you think he looks pretty nice and other women think he look nice there ain't no way i mean he might play the game but i'm saying it's just way too long i mean for right now i mean what i'm saying is you can do that if that's what you but see a lot of guys are saying okay these women They've been out here since they 21, 25, 30. And now, like you said, they want to be, what's it called? I want to repackage it up. I want to be a born again version. These are signs that to guys that she's been out in the street and now she's trying to, uh, you know, make it all pure back again. And, and a lot of guys aren't going for that. I'm not saying that all, oh, I'm saying maybe out of eight out of 10. So I'm saying the guys out there, if they're serious, they're going to want a woman to be pure or whatever. And the age is from 25 to maybe 30. If they can get that, I mean, right now, I doubt it. I, I mean, women from like you know, they're so they're in college, I'm not gonna be too long, but they might have a girl has 10 to 20 bodies by the time she's 25 right now. So, we're saying in your age group, I mean, we're just saying depending on what the kind of guys you're looking for. But if some guy's telling you, I mean, he's gonna put the sweet nothings in your ear, he's gonna do that, he's gonna do that. So, I mean, I know what kind of money this dude was making, though. I'm saying if he's making six figures got his own business. Like he's like, I'm driving Mercedes. I'm driving these Aston Martins. I need to know if this chick is about me or about what I got. And I had a respect and he was, you know, had a relationship with God. So it was just like, yo, I respect that because he's like, I need to know if you with me for my money or you with me for me. And he had it already had a daughter. He's been married. So he's like, I don't want to play any games, but I'm not just giving my, I'm not single. I'm not just swinging my wood out here for every, you know, chick that, that come across me because, you know, like you said, I can get it. But, you know, you want something that's going to be long lasting. And I'm like, that's what I'm saying. When you talk, I mean, for, for me, example, why would, you know, you want your sister out here with every dude that's out here for 90 days and don't work on it? And what the sex is terrible. You know what I'm saying like, 
you gotta I, look. I believe in restraint. You know what I'm saying? And let's just be keep it real. The last relationship I had, you you met old boy. Matter of fact, again, situationship. It wasn't relationship. I ain't talked to nobody or been with anybody for the last three years. That's real talk. You not getting in. It was COVID. You ain't coming over here with your COVID cooties up in my crib. You ain't coming here, you know, just trying to get next to me. I don't know. Not, yeah, we, we're looking at a day and age where everything is out there. The cooties, the COVIDs, the STDs, all that. So I'm going to protect myself. So, yeah, you not laying up with me right now. And then on top of that, when I do decide to get it, you going to the clinic with me so we can both get our tests. Here, I'm clean. You clean. Let's do it. Yeah, that's, yeah, I definitely respect that. I mean, uh, definitely, yeah, nowadays, I would do the same thing if I was with somebody who wanted to be serious. Um, you want to, want to get STI reports and do all that. Yeah, that's that's the that's the way to go. I'm just saying, but how do you get there in this age? I mean, a traditional woman, I, you know, after, after the internet and what, what the guys are seeing and the way they're being schooled, I mean, guys are like, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not really ready to take the marriage um, risk right now because, I mean, like I say, back in the day, it might have been different. But there's a lot of guys who are a lot of good guys out there. All men are dogs. A lot of women try to say that. But, um, you know, women are only maybe messing around with like 20 percent of the guys out here. The only 20 only percent of the guys are doing really good with women out here. And um, if, if you're a younger guy or if you don't have your stature up in your money, then, you know, you may find yourself with you with a woman and uh, you want to be where you may got one itis. And then you're scared to lose her, so you'll kind of comply. You'll kind of um, really maybe not put your foot down. You may let her get away with a little bit of things. And some women like a little bit of man that got a little bit, of, you know, tell them what to do or whatever. I'm not saying like, you know, being a childish about it, but they're like a man to leave. And so men right now, they're like, well, these women are out here so promiscuous. You know, I, I can't trust it. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to put a baby in there. They, they know the divorce rate. They know some of their friends that got... Uh, got screwed over real good. And so the women are going to go, okay, I'm like you say, this, this guy got a lot of money, whatever. Then yeah, there's a lot of women that's going to be after him a lot. So, you know, women can say I'm special and I bring this to the table and all that. But I mean, he's a guy who doesn't need anything. Like you say, he might need trust. He might need loyalty because uh, maybe some women that he's seen in the past, but I'm saying a guy that's got uh, money like that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of guys that got money like that and, they might have their lady on the side here, but they're they're, they're, they're hoes. Let's keep it real. They hoes. I'm not trying to date any more hoes. The hoes is in my 20s and my 30s. We we not hoeing anymore. So look, I got this dude from school that's on here. What's up, BB? Give me a thumbs up. So BB, I mean, I know you married and everything, but did you have a 90 day rule with your wife? You know, however it was. Because I'm I'm saying the, the kind of men that I'm looking at. Or, or stand up guys and then then it's not swinging wood like that because they they're not trying to be players and pimps you know what I'm saying that that was back in the day when everybody was out here trying to uh listen to Snoop Dogg Tupac and, and Boogie and them you got real dudes out here that are like we're not doing that we not we not just like you said not trying to have all these babies out here so that's another reason why you should do your homework why are you trying to lay the pipe with a chick and within the nine days, and you did your homework. Now you found the chick crazy. She's slashing your tires. She putting sugar in your tank. She busting your car windows out. She, uh, like the, like the movie How to Be a Player. She writing, you know, hole on your car. Why would you want to deal with that? If you would have waited the nine days before you swung the wood to her, you would know she crazy. She can't handle it. Well, you got you got to vet her. You know what I'm saying? You got to vet her. You got to find out. I mean, it's easy to kind of vet chicks right now. Than it was back in the day. I mean, they got an Instagram, they got a Facebook page. Um, more than like I call it like this. If if she wants to be in a serious relationship like that, then she shouldn't be on social media with booty pics and all that right there. Because okay, well, now you want to be my lady, whatever, like that. First, you're gonna look at her past, you're gonna see all the pictures that she got right there. How was she displaying herself? I mean, if she was displaying maybe her family or she was kind of dressed non-provocative, but if she got some of them out there, well. Those thirst traps, you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> a guy looks at her page, it doesn't matter what she's saying, oh, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. It's all about, you know, how you put yourself out there. I mean, some guys now they're saying, hey, if I'm gonna be with a woman, I'm giving her my time, I'm marrying her, and she's still on um, on social media. We're not saying she's doing provocative stuff, but she like that attention. Well, the car is still for sale, she's still for sale. Even though she, she might work with a guy or whatever, we're not saying she's gonna do anything, but she's always got herself in front of something that's going to give her attention. And that's a lot, that's a lot of, lot of problem with relationships right now. There's, I mean, let's just say you're in a relationship 
you and your dude getting a little uh comp, I mean a little I mean a little beef or something like that. Hey, boom, she's gonna pick up her phone. She's gonna start scrolling. I say she's looking for dudes, she might put a couple of pictures up there, she might get 20 or 30 likes, it's gonna make her feel good. This, this, these are problems inside relationships. You know, what I mean, um the, the attention thing is is real bad. And I mean, I don't care what women do. I mean, you know, if that's what they want to do, whatever, but they you're supposed to be done with all that right there. I can run around in my 20s and my 30s. No, that, that's too late. I mean, I can see, you know, you, you're going to find your best option of finding a husband, a good relationship. If you went to college around like your 25th year. And so you might want to see the guy who's an engineer, or whatever you want to pick from them, because you're not going to, you're not going to find those group of guys in one spot that's trying to get the education probably never in life again. So if you don't you're try to find somebody near that college age between 25 and 28 or till 30, then your value is going to go down and you're going to start meeting a lot of guys who they're coming into their stride. They're making a hundred thousand dollars. They're like, Hey, when I was in my twenties, I wasn't getting shit. You know what I mean? I was just had to work on myself. Women were looking over me. Now he in his thirties. Now you ready to settle down. Now he ain't ready to settle down. He's trying to kick it. You know what I mean? And maybe look for something younger, but that's just, I'm not saying all guys, but just a percentage of them. So, you know, so well, I, I, I got to piggyback off the you know, policing females. Like now you do know I used to model back in the day. Don't mean I was hoeing. Don't mean I'm promoting my business. I didn't, I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you don't, don't take it like feelings. No, no, I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving you an option because there's a lot of females out here that their business is about their bodies. Their models doesn't mean they, they know how to separate the, the, the business world of I, I make my money off of how I look face model, body model, whatever, whatever, doesn't mean that I'm selling. I mean, I'm out here, got my legs spread out. You know what I'm saying every chick ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying, and uh, yes, there are a lot of girls out here that got the likes, but the likes might be now you can get paid off of that. So again, that might be a business move. Doesn't mean she out here own. Well, yeah, I mean, well, I, I'm, I'm just saying what, what's being displayed on the market. I'm not saying, like we say, you can't take it personally, you can't say yet. Yeah, I'll say there's some of them that's not doing it. But there's a lot of them that are doing it. I mean, the, the uh, women are, you know, some people are in the market, they, they're models, whatever. I mean, some guys, they're coming out of with, with you know, I, I got dinner, I'm gonna I'm I'm set you up, I'm gonna put you up in a penthouse. I mean, some women are gonna, are gonna, are gonna jump on that. I mean, especially the young girls. The problem is right now is a lot of the older, not older women, but chicks like Amber Rose and stuff like that. I mean, they, they glorify uh, slutting and being a slut walk and all that kind of stuff like that. You got a lot of girls following behind that. You got bad baby. I think the chick that was the cast me out, cast me outside girl on, on Dr. Phil. As soon as she turned 21, she opened up her only fans. She got 50 million. So, so, it, and a lot of all you hear about girls saying, I'm the bag, I'm the bag, I'm the bag. So a lot of old women got to, uh, got to show the young woman about traditional stuff, maybe how to be a good woman, how to be a good wife, but it's going to be hard to put that Pandora's box back in because you got I me. Mean, that's why, I mean, I know a lot of younger guys. I talk to them and stuff like that. And, you know, some of them are struggling. They ain't really like athletes or rappers or stuff like that. They're struggling right now. And the younger girls, they're moving past. They're dating older men. They're only fans. I mean, some of them are just Instagram models. They're getting money there. And they, these dudes can't compete. And uh, so and a lot of them are going with older guys. And those older guys are, are looking for younger women. So when it's time and like, you know, the, the, the transition between the 2000s and the 2012s and 2023 is different now. So for, oh yeah, for, definitely yeah. different. I mean, and even if you look at it, we just talked about uh, there was a podcast about the Mark Marcus Houston dating the chick that's nineteen years old. That's pedophile. Like, yo, really? That's sick. You know what okay, I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you guys. I didn't mean to get you for your thirty. Your yeah, so I'm, I'm like you know, so you know, it's 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 a double standard. You know what I'm saying? So um, at the end of the day. I mean, I just don't think it's fair. And then you're right. It's a different world, different strokes for different folks. But we definitely on both sides of the, the older generation of men and the older generation of women got to sit back and tell these young girls, you, you know, you got to know how to make your money. And you ain't got to, you know, lay it low or spread it wide just to do that. You know, so you, you can stack your decks. But again, it's the type of woman that you're talking about and it's the type of situation you're in. You trying, we were literally talking about a relationship with a good woman, a good man. Not situationships, not one night stands, not hookups, not any of that. Like, oh, well, I come holler at you at 12 o'clock. We ain't talking about those type of things anymore. We're talking about real life. Hey, uh, I've been married, got divorced. Or I've been in a relationship for five years. Now I'm back in the market. You know, a lot of my friends um, are getting are getting divorced. So they got to know what they're dealing with. And a lot of them are not going to put up with no bullshit. You see that I'm be single or you're going to come correct. 
And dating after you're married is totally different. So I'm not trying to date a dude that's in his, he's 53, run around here like he's 20. Come on, man. You, you serious? But uh, you done that? You, you, you done with your point? Yeah, I, I totally understand that. If, if he's older, yeah, I, I can get it. You know what I'm saying? You, your, your demographic is different with what the guys you're looking for. Like I said, at your age, you might want somebody around your age, maybe a little bit younger, a little bit older. You're not going to have to deal with all that. But I, I'm talking about as for, like I say, most, I mean, how many of my friends, I, I got some friends that got, you know, a lot of marriage, a lot of years on their marriage. I got some friends that are divorced, you know what I'm saying, and, and remarried. Sometimes uh, uh, people that get divorced now as men, they're definitely not trying to do that again. You know what I mean? Because they probably got taken Why to the bank. Why you say that? Because they got taken to the bank. You know, if, if, if um, right now the statistics of being married right now, I mean, I like, just say if you do meet somebody and you get married at the age you are, um, it, 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 the a divorce rate is 50 50 right now so you know what i'm saying you got you have a 50 percent getting a divorce rate if you meet a woman she's making a little bit more money uh 70 percent of women uh, file for divorce you can look it up google it right there so men are like well you know why would i take this deal you got dr dre um he just got divorced you got elon musk he just got divorced you got tom brady he just got divorced so it don't matter about all oh, my good women all that these women are older these women are, are not young little chicks and and these dudes are not able to hold on to them. You know what I mean? These are high, these are dudes who are have high status. I mean, I, I don't understand why everybody's giving Marcus Houston a, a big time. I'm not saying that maybe when when, when he dated his uh, I mean when he married that girl she was 19, Leonardo DiCaprio likes him when they're 25. The entire population of China feel if you're 25, you know, you kind of like a they Chinese people like to uh, build those families and have them younger. So that you know they can build, have more kids. Well, they don't have that many kids, but I'm saying they're more family orientated. Uh, women nowadays, like I said, if they're if they're out on if they're out there, they're moving, they're shaking, they're coming up with babies by the wrong dude, and then, then he's not staying around. The, the nuclear family is shut down. I mean, even in the 1970s, 80s, you, some women might say, well, you know, maybe the man might have been a little bit promiscuous, but the family units were stronger. So. We have to say, hey, we got we got more money. Women are making more money. They're smarter than they ever been. But how come we can't hold the families together? And you can't say it's the guys because only 20% of the guys are getting all the ladies. So some of the ladies are picking up all dudes and they're, they're recycling these same dudes over. And then when they have a couple babies by them, they want to meet a nice guy. The nice guys might be saying they don't got no kids. I ain't taking that deal. So that's just what it is. No, I'm not. I'm not. You know, the, the reason it. why people are giving Marcus so much slack because he's the new, the other version of R. Kelly. Like that's pedophile. You, he was actually with her at seventeen. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's like, how old it, huh? How well, was he at the time when he met her? He's thirty six. Yeah. Well, you, when, you when, I was, yeah. when I was in yeah. high school, they had twenty five year old dudes coming, coming up, picking up seventeen year old young girls. Oh, I'm not saying it was right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's right. But when I was in high school. I knew guys that was 28, 25. They was picking up, uh, uh, what's it called? I say uh, maybe junior, seniors. That was really nothing back then. You know what I'm saying? Right. So but I'm now that you, because that was that, because no one knew it was wrong. Now that you know it's wrong, you are a 36 year old man courting a girl at 17, waiting to the same thing with Jay Z and Beyonce. They said Beyonce was 19 when she met Jiggy. You know I'm saying, but at the end of the day, it's now that you know, it's like you don't do like get somebody your own age. Why you gotta go with the oh, young well, chick? Oh, well, that's not that we're not well, okay. Let's just not use the 18. We'll use the 21, 22. I'ma say, why do why do women think that a guy who's 30 years old and built himself up is trying to be with another 30-year-old woman who has, has more experience than him, who's probably dated more than him, who maybe been in okay. the marriage more than him? So I'm saying this, this whole thing about the same age, it's never been like that since the beginning of time. You know well, when you, he, have, you I mean, okay. you, I'm not talking about Marcus alone. I'm saying right. when, when you're dealing with R. Kelly and stuff like that, okay, we have to also say something with the, about the parents. So, I mean, our, uh, Aaliyah, right. she, yeah, her, 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 her mom knew about that stuff like that. Some of these women is, is selling their kids off. Now, 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 right, R. and R. I agree with that. Right. that what he, I'm saying is when, when men he's say... Wrong, but I'm saying, some of these parents are filed too, and they grooming these kids oh, just yeah. to put them in big, big stars. 
So there, there, there should be more people going to jail besides our killer. But you go right, and I agree with that. Life. But the point is, let's get back on track. The thing is, when you say we got so much in common, you know, doggone well, a 36 year old and a 17 year old chick ain't got nothing in common. Your mind ain't even there yet. You still living at home with your moms and dads. You ain't got no bills. So what do you have in common with a 36 year old, a 36 year old man with a 17 year old girl? There's nothing in common there. And I now I'm gonna take it back. There were some people that we know. You know, I don't name no names whatever i just talk about situation there was guys that i knew personally that was dating and marrying girls straight out of high school right having a whole football team now you divorce her and you got six seven kids you done moved on and got married again with another woman what's the woman supposed to do with all the kids so again it's about you know homework trying to figure out what you're doing and you know if you're going to be with this person, like you said, everybody's getting divorced nowadays, just the easy way out. I mean, I guess the one thing is, it's a factor. The women of yesterday are not the women of today because the women of yesterday were staying at home barefoot and in the kitchen cooking, slate, you know, cooking and serving and everything to their man while he was out here working, you know, double, triple overtime, whatever have you. Now the women out here, like I could, I'm doing that too. So not only are they breadwinners, they bring home the bacon. Then you got men that's kind of offended because they can't be with a woman that's making more money. I'm just going to be real with you. I, I can only speak about myself. Half the time that I was working, I made more money than the men I was in. So I don't know if that was a, a thing with them because I, I'm not a man. Why, why you just can't work it out and be the stay at home dude? Making sure when I come home that you cooking and cleaning, I'm bringing home the money. We we together. If I'm not, I'm asking you. I'm not putting you down. I, I treat you like the king. I'm submitting. Only thing is, my 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 commas is different than yours. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I I get what you're saying, but I'm gonna just give it to you on the real for for men for men aspect. It doesn't have to be mine. See the the problem the problem here is is that. I heard what you said, barefoot, pregnant, and all that kind of stuff. See, that you can't, I mean, it was might be like that back in the day, but it was ready for the it was for the times. Um, when the women have always not always been home. They they have worked part-time, we'll just say maybe in 19, uh, 50, 60. So they always went to home. But the point was is the family unit. See, um, I was watching this uh this one uh interviewer, her name was Melanie King, and she and she she was uh, interviewing this older lady or had this older lady who was writing cosmopolitan magazines. And uh, even the lady that wrote uh, the show Sex in the City, she she said, I kind of, when I made this show, I really didn't know kind of, I, I was like thinking about the power chick, the power boss, boss chick, or some people call them the boss bitch and all that. And at the end of the day, she ran that route. She did that and went for all that. And now she don't got no grandkids. She don't got no children. And that's not the route to go. There's nobody saying that a woman is uh, not, not to be strong and powerful and you know, to go for it. Uh, her thing like that. But what it is, what ha happened is this, I can do it on my own and all that. When a woman makes a certain amount of money, she might want a guy at that certain level, you know what I'm saying? Or even more than him. So the average, the average uh, pay for a black man in America is about between 36 and $48,000. And a lot of women are making a lot more money than that. So right then and there, she may say that she could do, I mean, not some women, I was submitting all that, but a lot of women that it's just, it's that dynamic. They always want a man who's maybe, maybe, maybe making more, more money than her, a little bit more powerful, might make her submit a little bit more. So when a woman, I mean, some men, I mean, they want to do something for a woman. That's what a man wanted to do back in the day. If my woman was at home, even though they talk about I was barefoot and pregnant, he was like, he was bringing home the check. He was giving it to her. He was making sure everything else was done. Okay. He might've been a little bit out there, but the point was that the woman, she because he might have cheated one time or because he wasn't home all the time, she just didn't take the family and just try to you just go up and divorce him. It wasn't that easy back then. You know what I mean? There was no fault divorce and stuff like that. So I think my camera not froze. No, it's okay now. So what I'm saying is the whole dynamic of uh, the power couple that we can do this, it, it's I, I can't see it working because if a woman's a lawyer, and, 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 she, and let's just say she's a lawyer. She got a guy at the crib. He's a plumber. He, okay, he's making maybe 50, 60, 70,000. She's making a lot more. She sees a lawyer who's working there or the guy's over her. I mean, she's spending eight hours with this dude uh, per day. This dude is humping. He's doing all that. And when she come home, oh, I don't want to cook and all that. It's, it's going to cause a power dynamic. You know what I mean? I'm not saying she's supposed to come home and cook. But, you know, a lot of women, they're more, they have more dedication to their boss and they do their husband. So sometimes it, it could be a problem. Is your I camera can, still working? You can still I see can, me. Is everything good? 
Yeah, I can't believe you just said that. Really? I'm, I'm really? just saying. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. So let me let's do it like this. So you had said some earlier when you started it that um, men, like women, we wait. You know, what I'm saying we want to do this, do that. But let's be realistic. A man goes out here after he's uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, gets away from home, and he knows what he wants to do. He can say, I want to wait to have my family. So he's all about the business. I want to make sure that I can provide for my wife, do this, do that. So she has to want for nothing. So, but when a woman does it, it's a problem. And now our life is over because we chose, you know, to say, hey, I want my career first. I want to be able to make sure I got money saved up so I can help my husband. Not that I'm I'm better than him, more than him, whatever. I want to be able to add to the table. Let's pull both tables up. Not what can you do for me type of mentality. What can we do for each other? And she's waiting. She's going to, to school. She's getting going to get the, the degrees and getting the jobs and trying to be a CEO. And the fact that was, oh, she, time is not on our side. So now she, you know, wants to have kids. Well, it's too late now. She's in her early, you know, well, now you can't have kids, you know, children at 45 50 whatever but you still want to be able to be there make sure your children are healthy and then there's that line where okay well i'm putting my life at risk to have a child but at the day why is it such a double standard that when a woman wants to do that and says hey now i'm ready because i put my career first and now i want to have a child everybody want to front upon a chick but when a dude does it it's okay i never understood that double standard okay well this is what it is like you say when, when a kid is 18 or 21 a, a man he, he doesn't know what he wants to do at the time. Okay, so we're saying, we'll, we'll, we'll put it back a little bit. Maybe we won't put it like right now. But so uh, let's just say me for myself. It took me time to build up, even to one of the jobs where I was making, to the, a meal job, I was making a little bit more extra money. So we're saying, when I got out of school, I was 18, went to the Rock for a few years. Then I got out, I you know worked a lot of like fast food restaurants, did stuff like that. And then I got, got a job at... Uh, I think my first bro job, I started making money. I was working at American Steel and stuff like that. So I was kind of trying to make money and build myself. So there wasn't a lot of women coming all life. Now, there were some guys out there. They were flashy. They had money. They was making quick money. They had rides and stuff. So they were getting more attention and stuff like that. So what I'm saying is when a woman is younger, when she was younger at the time, um, it's kind of easy for her. Like, okay, well, if this guy's a little bit more steady, because I I'm saying like a... Uh, I knew she's like, usually if a chick was like around 20, a lot of, a lot of my ex-girlfriends, they, when they was like around maybe 22, 22, 24, they, they was getting married to a guy who was in his 30s. He was established. He ready to rock. And they had babies by that dude and everything. So the, a younger woman is going to look for a man who could take care of them. I believe that what happened was with, when feminism kind of slid in and they were saying, well, women can do this and do that. Okay, if, if she can't find a good dude, because I, I think it's kind of like this. I don't want to be like my mom and be stay at home with an apron and barefoot and pregnant. But, and it, you know, they they rent that stereotype of scare like that. I don't want to be like that. And then they say, well, you can go out and be corporate and do all this and do all that. They're making more money than the men. And then all of a sudden they come in an impasse when the dating comes. Well, the problem is when a man, he's always wanted to provide. If you're meeting a Pookie and a Ray Ray and that dude's not doing nothing, you got a baby by him, yeah, you're going to have animosity toward that dude. But we're talking about real dudes, the 80 percent. Now, not, not the 20. If you try to go for it, this guy got some money or he looks good or whatever. He's got options. So he's not going to just lay it down with you. But what I'm saying, if you do go get a career, let's just say you do when you graduate, you meet you meet a nice guy in college. OK, you guys have a baby. You take two years off. You take care of the kid when the kid get a little bit older, maybe five. Then maybe you want to go back into your career. But you've already built an establishment with your husband and all that maybe you want to go back to work but if you're trying to come in and just get all this it's going to take you some years or whatever and then that guy he's going to be looking at you like well I'm, i don't want to be competing with you i don't want i don't want you to be giving all your time to this boss i want you to be around here and then so what he's going to do is he's going to go maybe grab something a little bit younger and not you know like if like he, he, somebody that's not way way up there you know what i mean it doesn't mean that she won't be on this level like a, like a child, like you said, like with the Marcus Houston incident. But if she's like 27 and she wants to say she works at, you know, just a regular average job and he's a doctor and she's more like come older and talk to her and she more sweet instead of saying, well, I had a hard work today and I had to do this. I got to work 12 hours with my business boss. He may take that. 
So you have to learn how to balance that out. But a lot of women get screwed over by the pookies, Ray Rays, and the, and the you know the dudes who up there have a baby with them. And then when that other dude comes that you want, it's too late. So I'm just saying you have to know the right decisions as a woman yourself. You know, I mean, I know you people could say it's his responsibility for the condom and all this, but I totally agree. If you're the one that's having the baby, make sure you 100 percent is take is uh being the one who makes sure you don't get knocked up. In, in, in case he might be a fucking knucklehead. But that's just me. Well, that, that's that's the whole point, though. And you just actually said it just then. That's why you should actually implement the 90 day rule, because if you're saying, hey, we're getting married, you know, we want to be able to wait for our children. Why would you not put the 90 day rule in there to go ahead and be with somebody to make sure you're not with the Pookie and the Rayways and all of them? And you know what I'm saying? Because guess what? If I'm waiting my 90 days to find out if you're the representative of the real deal dude, and he's going to wait too, because he's not trying to have babies out here. I'm talking about the real dudes now. They're not trying to have babies there that, that now he don't, you know, he can't even stand you. We can't get along, and I'm going to have a baby with you. That's why you need to have a 90 day rule. The 90 day rule helps you do your homework with every woman or every man so you're not out here just having babies with anybody and then once you find out that she's worth the wait or he's worth the wait you can make it happen and then you guys can travel and and, and enjoy being married together as single people as newlyweds without having the kids in there already that's what i think okay i, I get what you say and like i said don't get me wrong maybe some women have accomplished that whatever that whatever as for i believe like i said ever since uh 2020 2012 and more of the uh the phone and all that I mean, you, you, you're, these dudes, I, I don't know, these dudes who you're saying who's a real dude, that real dude is a dude that a lot of women don't want. They don't realize they want that dude till later on down the road. Because if, if he, oh, he's a real dude. That's the Michael B. Jordans. I don't want the Michael B. Jordan because he, he was crappy. He was a nerd. You probably wouldn't like Michael B. Jordan either. You know what I'm saying? At that time. No, at that age. no. What I'm saying to you is you're saying that and the Michael B. Jordan is wanting to wait. He's not trying to smash all the time. He's the 180 dude. I'm waiting 180 days because I want to make sure you with me for me and not my money and my celebrity status. Okay, well, number one, okay, let, let's put it like this. If you see pictures when Michael B. Jordan was younger, I mean, he was he was scrawny. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 he had to do the work. So when he, when he first started out, um, nobody was really checking on it. That's why they got into, I think that TMZ, that, that old chick used to go to school with, you know, she's seen what he was now. And she was like, yeah, he probably used to be a big head or, you know, like that. And now he the fucking man. Now she's like, well, what you see, you, he had to build himself up. He had, to, he had to go through immense amount of training, acting, all that kind of stuff. And then he was messing around with that with Lee Hart, with uh, Steve Harvey's wife. She ain't want him because in her wife, mind, Timmy, his sister. He never messed with Steve Harvey's wife, their daughter. Whatever you know, you know what I'm talking about, you know. But anyway, no. whatever her name is, see, even though he's this big, she was like, he's still kind of corny to me because she liked the dudes. It don't, it don't. No, she liked them what dudes. happened was that she she interviewed him on a thing and she was just like, she let off with it. He's like, but I was the corny dude. Remember, see the corny dudes. I'm I'm gonna tell you about the Michael B. Jordans. And even now, you know, he's he's wanting a relationship with your girl Lori Harvey, but she didn't want that's it. That's what I meant. That's who I meant, Lori Harvey. But on, on the thing, on the real thing, the corny dude, he's still humble. The same 15-year-old dude that was in the wire is the same dude that's wherever he is now. He's still the same dude. His body just had to catch up. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't drinking milk, but he's still the loving, humble, morals, values type of dude. That's what we're saying. Let's take away his looks. He's still the stand-up guy that we should be trying to date. So I don't care about your looks. I'm going to tell you the truth. When he was on the wire, I was hauling at him. When he was on Days in Our Lives, I would haul at him. I don't, I, don't, I don't like big dudes. I like the scrawny dude. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have a preference. So he would have been the dude that I like to, to talk to, younger Michael B. Jordan to now. Hey, we look at me. I was the scrawny girl, no body, no shape. Went away, went to lived in Atlanta, drunk my milk, boom, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people didn't want to holler at me there because I didn't have the shape. I didn't have the BBLs. Even now, I don't have the BBLs. Look at mom. Let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? I already know that what I'm going to look like if I decide to have a child. And you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't understand these chicks out here having all these surgeries and everything. You ain't gonna like, wait till your body gets into womanhood. And when you turn 30, 40 years old, you don't get that BBL because your mom and your grandmama had it. Or, you, you know, the big, you know, breast. You're not letting your body develop. Now you out here trying to beat time because you want that money instead of just living your life. Because I already know what I'm gonna look like. I already know what jeans look like in our family. Black don't crack. 
Well, this is what I'm gonna say. This is this is the problem. I mean, I, I've seen some other women like that. That's 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 on the, the thing about trying to straighten up the women of today. You know what I mean? There's about four or five of my life. Hey, it's gonna be your responsibility to uh to uh change the game or how women are gonna be if they're gonna be traditional women. Men ain't got nothing to do with that. This this all on y'all. You know what I mean? It's on y'all. No, it's not on us. It's not on us because the men are only gonna follow suit. Okay, if uh, men have always followed, so I think there was a movie one time where they was gonna make one, and the, the women say, "Okay, we sick of men acting the fool. We gonna shut off the coochie from them all, all the way until they do what we want to do." It was like a comedy movie, so they said, "If we shut the coochie down, men gonna do what?" what uh, That's what, what uh, think like do. a man. No, it, but it was. It, no, I, this was an older concept. You know, it was it was it was like the whole women in general in, in, in the United States. They was so tired of what was going on. They was gonna shut it all the way down. My camera's freezing up for me. Hold up. So let, let me tell you this, Tim. Hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is, saying is, you, you women, you let these other women lead. Instead, like, like back in the day, you might have had Claire Huxtable. You might have, you had like some good uh, role models. Hey, and then the sisterhood, I mean, you can have Claire Huxtable on one end, and then and you see Cardi B, and then she'll be going seeing the president and shit. You know what I mean? Instead of, instead of this woman. Hey, ladies, if you don't stop. Support, uh, uh, what's it called? Supporting slutty women, then they're they're gonna go over you and make more slutty women. So if you want men, like back in the day, you know, women they'll drop a drop a handkerchief. A dude knew what that meant. See now they barely got any things on thongs up the thongs up the amber rose. Uh, uh, what's it, ice spice and all them? Them is your representatives. And and, and then you said not my representatives. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, well that's, the same that, that's, a, that's the same thing I say about y'all. You around here with your, your pants hanging low, don't put no belt on, you got your underwear hanging out. It's the same thing women can say about men. You know what I'm saying? And then day, let's not even talk about Claire Huxtable. Let's look at Jacqueline Reed. The chick used to be the host on um, the BET. And I'm going to check her for her. And she's still single and still making her money. You know what I'm saying? Those are the type of women you know that that I I model after. You know what I'm saying I'm not doing right. I'm not doing the Carly B's. Uh, I'm not trying to do the the uh, city girls and all that stuff. There's a difference. But again, if if only thing that's out there are the uh, soldier boys and all them type of type dudes out here, that's what you're gonna mix with. Again, we talking about let's give it the time. We're not talking about these young kids that's out here now. You got your girl running after P Diddy. That's sick too. Find a woman that's your age. You know what I'm saying? You out here going for a 20 year old, you 50 something years old. That's disgusting. So no, I just don't get it. You don't understand men. I mean, if, if, if they took a, 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 what's it called? I think they took a survey from men who was 25 to 64. That they're what they like from that age. We don't care what it's like is around a woman that's 25 or 26. She's at her best age. If you look at older men that's in Hollywood, older men that got yachts and stuff, they don't got no 40 year old woman on them yachts. They got 25, 26 women who bodies are tight and all that. Nice. When, when, nice. A man gets, when a man gets older, he, I mean, he, he, see what, number one, he can still have a baby when he's 70 years old. He can still have a baby when he's 55 years old. That's the way he's made. He's still got millions and millions of sperm. He here to procreate. So if he's able to do that, he can't procreate with an older woman. His biologically, he's going to be attracted to a younger woman. This ain't got nothing to do with, uh, I mean, like we're not saying like, Young, young girls. I mean, if you go to, you know, like you we talking about, girl, we talking about your boy Diddy dating the girl from City Girls. That's that. No, you know what I'm saying? She in her twenties. He's fifty. He's about to be. She's, she's, she's a grown ass woman. Well, why? Why is it that you have like, like I seen uh, Chinese people? You guys got the teenager from seventeen to twenty five. He's still a kid. He ain't no. Well, I'm talking about. I'm talking. We talking about African Americans are, are. I don't know. I can't. I can't speak up other races because I don't know nobody. At eighteen, you can kill somebody. You can drive a semi eighteen to twenty one. You grown. You women. Women know what they're doing. They talk about. She don't know what she's doing. She knows what she goes. Well, she, well so do men. Okay, but let's let's, let's 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 take a pause. At the end of the day, men started. You know if you're gonna find him that finds the good woman. It's in the Bible, bruh. So you know when you want you know who you want a wife, and you know if you're gonna want uh like you said, you want the Claire Huxtables or you want Carly B. You set an emotion when you pick no, the we chick not. at no, the end of the day. No, yes, you do, because you know you know it's, it comes from you. Ain't no chicks out here been been announced saying, Well, you may I mean there are some, but you know the majority of the men started off right. They know what kind of woman they want to marry, who they're gonna take. It's it's the friend, the freak, or the forever. Which one you taking home to mama? You're not taking Carly B home to your mom. 
Okay, you're not right. with songs hanging around. You know what you want. You know what you want to marry. You know, at the end, of the day, it does start with a man. A woman knows what she wants, but a man's gonna set an emotion by saying, "Hey, I gotta go here. I gotta get the ring. I gotta do all this." He knows if, who he wants to marry, who wants to raise his kids. That comes from the man. I'm sorry, that's how I believe it. No, but no, anyway, you, you you guys set the tone. If you if you see you women set the tone. You letting too much, um, uh, what's it called, debauchery go down. We're not doing that. If you look on the internet, who's making all, all the uh, TikTok videos? Who's shaking their ass the most? Ain't no dudes with those six pack on, on TikTok all day. Yes, they ass, are. Ass, ass, half, ass, the men, ass, half the men, half the men on my TikTok, half the people on my TikTok are men. I don't follow chicks. I'm following men that do that. Yeah, I'm following dudes with their shirts off. I'm showing. I'm so. I'm looking yeah. at the uh, the silver yeah, fox yeah, yeah. dudes now. They out here. The silver fox. All that. All the yeah. men are doing it. They're doing it just like the women are. No, but if not would, more. If that was the case, women men would be making a lot more money on OnlyFans. I'm women, letting you know on my yeah. TikTok page. I have more men with their shirts off. Silver fox type dude, even the young dudes. I okay, mean, I got yeah. military dude out here. They're doing the whole shimmy dancing thing. They're men. They're doing it. Well, you're you're gonna watch it more because you got because you're a female. What I'm saying though is, well, not you said I'm women. saying this men is just doing it just as much as females. Much attention as these women out here. These women are getting way more mad attention, and they're getting way more mad money than these dudes out here. I mean, if th that dude's built pretty good, yeah, he may get lucky. He may be a Chad or Tyrone or something like that. But we talk about the average dude. You know, he kind of skinny, bird chested. He he gotta have some talent, something he gotta be funny. He ain't gonna just be coming. And that's home. why he on there, he on there on TikTok with the, the tongue hanging out, licking his mouth like L Cool J, you know, the, the, the Panther type uh the, the uh Python tongue. They all out there. You just not you're not watching because you're a dude. I'm, I'm telling you. you. Right. You know, so you're watching chicks, me. and I'm telling you, there's there's just as many men out here that's on no, TikTok no. doing the most, doing no. the most, Gr hunching, hunching and grinding and couches talking about this is the moves i'm gonna do you know i'm gonna forward to you when we go off this live but at the end of the day i do believe the men set in motion because you the one that got to get down on bended knee to say will you marry me we not doing that we like that's you said right. we drop the handkerchief you pick it up and you're popping a ring come on man you know that's yeah, real. The, that was that was back in the day these women are not worth that now they're, they're no way hey, worth that now. I, I, i'm worth it that's why they got a nine day rule you gonna wait for me and if not that is what it is. Well, I mean, that's just depending on the age group. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm up there too. You know, maybe I should have been married, whatever. But I'm, I'm, I'm willing to be a reality. This is what it is now. This is the dating game right now, and don't worry about it. I mean, you know, I'm not even worried about that. Just hey, so, you know, how do you, how do you, so for you, because you are single. Let's keep it real for the single men out here. How do you handle? And this is one of the biggest topics that's out here on Dear Wifey podcast. There's a chick out here that does that called uh, Kim Ministry. She doesn't understand why people are trying to date multiple people. I used to believe in it, but now I'm like, yo, it's too much energy. Do you date more than one woman at a time? I, would, I mean, I'm just out here. Just I'm not even really devilish, like, you know, hanging out. It's chilling. You know, if something happens, it happens. But like I say, they got women now. They're trying to be like, well, Polly Avery. They want to have more than one, one, one dude now. You know what I'm saying? No, all, no, all but my thing is for single men, how do you handle dating more? Even back in the day, you had more than one chick. How are you doing that without catching feelings? How you date as a man? Oh, how you date because, because men, the they're, they're, they're not emotional creatures like y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're men. They go to the military. Men can be with a woman. I mean, you know how many dudes out there, they be smashing chicks out there. You know, they make smash. I mean, there's some guys, they'll hit anything. Okay, so that means he's not going to be emotionally attached to them. If she's cute, if she's a 10 or 8, if she's bigger or smaller, he's going to do that. That's what the way he is. But with a woman, let's just say woman, women don't really cheat. They don't really sleep around. If they cheat on you, it's usually because she, because she kind of likes that feeling. She's going to cheat on that dude emotionally before she even sleep with him. You know what I mean? If she worked with the cat for a minute and she got a husband at home, I mean, if she is straight up hoe, then she might go ahead. But let's just say she's in a relationship, whatever. She, just something about being at home. She's probably got some kids, been with the guy for a long time. She's with her work husband, whatever. Okay, she might not run off the rip, sleep with him. It's going to take a, a little bit of time. But once she does, she's going to build an emotional connection with him. And that's why it's hard for women to sleep with a lot of different dudes. Because if they do that, they they will have, have they won't have that emotional attachment to maybe their husband later on down the road. That's why they try to tell you not to sleep with too many guys. You know, if you sleep with, with maybe four or five guys, you know, maybe he won't, have, he won't be worried about the competition. If this chick got 20 to 30 bodies on her, when he get with her, he gonna think, well, shit, there probably had to be a guy better than me. You know, he might think he laid it down. Then we're getting the women right now, 50, 70, 100 bodies before they even leave college or, you know, before they get into their 30s. 
Now, how can you peer mom when you did that? That's why being a virgin and being virtuous was very important to the men of the past. Even if they had to lock you in a castle, put a chastity belt on you, that's what it meant because they wanted to make sure that the baby was theirs when they, um, you know, when, when they when they had an offspring. Even if they had concubines, you know, kings and stuff like that. And then, so this, and then this, go ahead. This, you this is the point you make because you you be saying stuff and I be catching it. So yes, so that, that goes back to the ninety day rule. If you want to be out here sticking and moving and jiving, like for example, there's dudes out here that's, I say. I knew a dude that was out here. He's in his mid fifties, right? Married, whatever, got divorced, talked about how she hit him up and, you know, he's trying to get back on track. But then when you start talking, this why you do your homework, your 90 day rule, you come off like a sweet dude. You know what I'm saying? You want to take you out to eat sweet nothings. You tell me what I want to hear. And then more and more, you're not being consistent. And then you, you're running your mouth like diarrhea of the mouth, jabber jaws over here. You want to talk about your sexual tendencies and anything that got a hole in it, you stick your hole in it. Why would I want to be with a man that sticks his his eggplant and anything that got a hole in it. That means you're sticking in my ear, my mouth, my vajayjay, my behind. You're giving it up. That's what I'm saying. Nobody wants that type of dude. You always want to talk about how the chicks are holes. Men are bigger holes than, sometimes than we are. And you want to just do anything and then going to say, when you marry me, you got to give me your whole body. I'm sorry. I don't have to give my whole body to you. I'm not doing that. So I just don't understand why it's always the women and women and women and women. And I'm, I can sit up here and say the men, the men, the men, the men. But again, you got to realize what we're working with. I'm not trying to be with a dude that's out here sticking anything that got a hole in it. Because you're going to get bored sooner or later. You're going to be jumping on the other side. I'm good. That's why I want a man that can hold restraint, has girth, can have, uh, can handle himself. Like your boy uh, Christian Keys was like, yo, my back ain't broke. And he's in his mid 40s. I think he's in his 50s. Good looking dude, scrawny, looks good, making money. Did all the Tyler Perry movies. He's out here now. On the, uh, he's on the uh, Eva Marcel, the, the top model chick. She got her own show now with the uh, Kingsmen. She's running a strip club. She's a madam. I'm saying all them men out there. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's sad to say men get away with a lot of stuff that women can do, but sometimes we do it better and we get away with it. But they, I'm not trying to be with a dude that's doing all that. Flexing in the mirror, got a six pack up, do all the little dances, tongue all out. Uh, you know, oh, I'm not one. I don't want that. And like I said, but that might just be his career. He might make his money off of that. So let me get to know you. Is this the, this is this your job, you? Or is this the real you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, you know, like I said, you 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 talking about them old Melvin dudes, them, them dudes, you know. Them What's dudes, a Melvin dude? You know, old pimps and all that. You know, them dudes. That they no, cool. they, them no, dudes the dudes, dudes out there, dudes. they're not pimp dude. And I don't like Melvin dudes. That Melvin dudes <laughs> getting worms. You too old. Okay, listen, 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 you go ahead, listen. You gonna have to take from from the the dating pool that you that you gotta grab and try to find a good dude and a dude in there to go down. I mean, hey, what's wrong? Hey, uh, yo, 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 uh, Cher got her a young man. She's seventy six. Erica Badu. Right, Eric Badu looks good. I'm saying no, she ain't my no, you don't like these, uh, these old Melvins out here, because I, I was, I was seeing, all, I was seeing all these older women. They they grabbing young young dudes. You know the ones that's all played out. You know Lisa Ray. Them chicks is playing out. You know what I mean? Come on, man, and stop it. Been all over Chicago. Huh? They have. Lisa yeah, Ray is still in her prom, still looks good. So does Vivica Fox. Hey, don't hit on, don't hit on my queen like that. <laughs> don't hit on my Ray queen like that. Huh? Lisa Ray is not in her prime. Lisa Ray is not in her prime. She's my age. That's not prime. She, she, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. See, That's you about to get you about to get jacked up. Women are in their prime. My age. Yes, we are because you don't understand. You don't understand women, genetics. So. I think prime when they're 25 to 28. That's no, prime. no, no, That's no. The, no. You're, wrong. The, You're wrong. That's why that boy got Lisa hemmed Ray. up. Lisa Ray was married to a bitch one time, and she couldn't even hold that fool down. Because he, you know because, it, because again, you didn't do your homework. She realized who he was. If you, if you do that your that homework, homework, you realize not waste your time. Anyway, we so you gotta understand women. So we we peak in our 18s. We were 18. Whatever. We peak That's again what? in our 40s. So we're still in our primes. We still we still can shuck and jewel and my, you know what I'm saying and do our thing in our 40s and our 50s. We peak again. Yeah. So we're still in our primes. I forget what dude said we weren't in a prime. He got hemmed up for saying that dumb stuff online. 
Well, I mean, maybe so, but he, he had to do. Ain't no maybe so. I'm telling you, I'm a female. We we well, still in our prime. I know what men want. I know what men want. Right, but we yeah. okay, I'm but they're man. still. But she still look man. good. Give her props. I mean, yeah, she's crack, no crack. That's good, but can she have a baby? Do, do yes. Kids. Do we can still have babies in our fifties now and sixties? Yeah, that's, that's really high risk, right there. You, 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 it's that, high, you ask the question: Can we still that's have babies? Kid. Yes. And, and the kid could be could get. You can have a lot of uh, you know mental illness, probably mental. No, we get that. But you ask the question: yeah, like when, when babies when you young, when you 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 give it to Pookie and Ray Ray when you're twenty five, and now you want to come give it to us. We're not going to be cleaning up men out here. Janitors are not doing that anymore. Well, why you gotta be a I'm, say, I'm looking for a good man. I'm not saying you. You gotta take it off of. I'm not talking about me. I'm janitor. not talking. About, I said, why do we have to? Why do you have to be a janitor? What if? What if a woman says just what I just said in the past? No, I said the male janitor. We janitors. We gotta be the cleanup man. We That's what I just said. Why do you have to be the cleaner man? If I chose to live my life first, I didn't want to have a child because I, I can't, you know, I want to go have a college degree and, and be the CEO. Yeah. I have the, the same thing with a man. Don't mean I didn't ask you to be a cleanup man and be the janitor. Yeah, but like I said, I mean, men, women can do that. That's fine if they if they want to do that. But with the dating market is going to go down on them as they get older, or if they start making a lot more money. You said, "But we intimidate a man." Well, don't intimidate the man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Get off the. How about you early. guys get some? How about you guys get some self esteem and stop being intimidated? When that's that's going to protect yourself. We're not, I, men are not trying to date men. That's the whole problem. If I wanted a woman to compete and do all that, and we all, I don't want that. You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't need to be competing with her or she bringing the same thing or she got a degree. A woman don't, a guy doesn't care if he has a degree or not. A lot of them don't. You know what I mean? They just wanted to be nice to him. I'm not saying she got to be uh, making him a sandwich and bringing his bed and shoes all the time, but they're not looking for competitive women. If, they, if, they if you're that, intimidated by a chick, you got to check yourself. That's that's something within you. If the one and you you so threatened by a chick that has a degree oh. and has the money, you're not even looking at what she what she's bringing to the table because you already threatened when you see her sitting at the at the bar drinking her own drink by herself. Yeah, you ain't gonna approach her. You intimidated. She ain't gotta bring that to the table because I can do it myself. That, that's the whole. What I'm thing saying to you, but why are you intimidated by the chick at the bar that can can drink a drink what? by herself? You're not gonna what approach her because what, what, what is this table that people is bringing? What is this table? No, that's not what I said. You, why would you not? You said, ain't nobody trying to compete. Most women no, not compete. are not trying not. to compete. That's just what they did. They went to school. They got the degree. They got the job. They got the money. I'm not trying to compete. I was just trying to take care of home because there was, wasn't a man in my life. So when she's at the bar by herself, drinking a, bar, drinking a glass of wine, you are intimidated because of why? Why wouldn't you go up to her and talk to her? I'm oh, no. She intimidates me. I just know what people will see that that's the whole thing the shame in the intimidated but heard this a thousand times you know i'm you're intimidated of the woman uh who hurt you whatever we all heard all this before we nobody you know it's all good but we, we're gonna it's go true. on statistics all we're gonna do is just go on statistics how many people are getting married how many people are having great nuclear families we don't gotta argue about is it working feminism and all this it's not working we're, we're, we're all busting down the thing the whole uh system of dating and all that they're one crying how come men are doing this how come men are doing this how come this is going on how come i can't find a good woman how come i because the whole dating market is done because it's not structured right it's the it's structured by women and men they want equality okay you got equality now we, we there's no problem with that you, you can get make the money we do you can do whatever we, ever you want to do but some but you still gonna need them hard-edged men who are construction who do garbage who lay down the roads who build the buildings so you can sit there and do your job as a lawyer whatever men are if they don't lead it's gonna be over you know what i'm saying and women women are like if you if you got that attitude i'm strong i don't need him and i don't need him to lead then that's the decision you make and that's fine some women do that some men are going to be on their own too but you can't tell no man what he could do, what he could like. He need to be with somebody his age. If he making his own money, he washing his own clothes, he paying his own bills, he can do what he want as long as he don't break the law. And get locked up. There you is. go. Keep it up. My Joe camera, <laughs> for some reason, if we almost at the one hour mark and my camera's not coming back on. So maybe we okay. have to shut this down. Well, look, you guys. I, I, really I tell you what. We're not going to do a part two of this because it was long. I really had a good time. We need to bring in maybe a couple more other people. Um, well, I'm gonna have to bring we, you. We up still got the kinks. Let's let's before we we add other people. You got to figure out how to work your 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 live with your screen figures. So we'll do that about you know episode ten or twelve. We're not worried about bringing anybody right now. Let's let's talk about the kinks 
and get these conversations going and learn how to uh read yeah, the chat. I, I, I want to ask some of your other girls. I mean, it ain't gonna be nothing. I'm not saying a whole panel, you know, but maybe like one of one of your chicks, maybe one of my homeboys, Ernie, or something like that. Because it, 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 it really went better than what I thought it did tonight. It really did. I told you. Yeah, I it told did. you. If the, but, if the uh, time is good, it's gonna be good. But we'll learn how to uh, how to add people on and read the chats at the same time. But at the end of the day, this is your girl T coming from North Carolina with my brother Tim from PA. TikTok, won't you stop or whatever you're saying is Tim? And this is your girl T. Facetime, I mean Facebook and Instagram Live. All right, so yeah, we gonna be gonna be back probably maybe maybe next Tuesday or next Sunday. We try to get back to you. Like we said, work out all the kinks, but we had a, I had a good time tonight. It was good to uh, talk to my sister. Yay! I, uh, definitely, I had a good time. I had a couple good laughs, and uh, it was all respectable. And it was all good. So you guys, oh, I love it. Thanks, okay, Tim. All right, don't love get off you. the phone. We'll end the recording, but don't get off the phone, okay? Oh, okay. Bye, uh, guys. We're ending the live. Right, we'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>